then people stay in toxic relationships because they don't want to be lonely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People choose toxic relationships because they don't want to be lonely. Yeah. So the word choice matters. Yes. But solitude says, I'm actually spending some time with me. Right. I'm spending some time becoming who I need. I'm spending some time learning how to love me. Mm -hmm. I'm spending so being in solitude is different than being lonely in loneliness. So it's just, and, and that's just an example. It, there's a ton of words sure. that I've learned how to shift what I say to myself differently because it's self-talk. Mm -hmm. But when we start to say better things to ourselves, then automatically we start to say better things to other people too. Right. But you know what you always say, and I think about it all the time. You always say that we are never going to be perfect, but we strive for excellence. Right. Exactly don't, right. don't strive for perfection. You right. strive for excellence. Right. And when you do that, that's when you get there. Yeah. If you're a go-getter, faith-driven and family-focused and need to break through to your next level, this is the podcast for you. Your self-talk can reshape every area of your life. It's time to dream and think big. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience with Darnell and Tracy Self. It's time to elevate, baby. Let's get into the show. Welcome, Self-Talk Experience family. Welcome. <laughs> we're back. And uh, we're excited because, again, this whole Self-Talk Experience is about saying better things to ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves. I really want you to think about that because we say it so fast sometimes. We say it so fast, but... Sometimes when you're, you have to make sure your words yeah. that you're choosing that you say to yourself yeah. are good words as well. Yeah. Even, you know, you're talking good to yourself. What are you really saying? Yeah. What's the language that you're saying and using yeah. for yourself, right? Yeah. And hopefully, I know I do and you do too. We catch ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're like, I probably should change that. Because maybe if you're saying, um, for instance, in your self-talk, you think it's good self-talk. So I'll say, I'm really trying to be a better mom. But really what I should say is I am being a better mom. Because right. if I'm trying, that means I'm taking steps. Mm. So I'm not trying okay. to do it. I am doing it. Yes. So, but some but we may that's the language I'm talking about. Yeah. Just those little tweaks. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no doubt. Just, no doubt. And I, I find myself catching myself all the time now since we started this podcast mm -hmm. right i've been intentional about the things i say to myself and i catch myself all the time i now. was gonna say do you feel like your words are always the best words or do you no, think no like, i still mess up because yeah. on the way to greatness you're good you're not great yet mm -hmm. if you're heading towards greatness you're good the problem is people are like oh i'm good that means there there's no plan to be greater there's no plan to be better so i say things like uh, i don't know if i can do that and then I say, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm actually choosing not to do that. Because mm. not that I can't do it. I could actually come. I'm just choosing not to go. Right. You, you ever been in a situation where you've been invited to go somewhere and you're thinking about the excuse you would give why you can't go? Oh, what? <laughs> you know, for real, I know our audience has been there. Like they're trying to like, because they got so much going on and they may not actually be doing anything in that moment. Let me just talk about No, me. I understand what you're saying. I'm so busy with so much going on and there's times where there's actually nothing in my calendar right there, but I don't want to put any additional thing in the calendar because that's my only second. I know, but you taught me to say no and don't feel obligated to give a reason that's or right. an excuse. No is a complete sentence. No is a complete sentence. Yeah. So you taught me that. Yeah. Instead of having to say, well, no, because how about I just want to take a nap? Right, right. So this <laughs> and is what that's I'm saying. okay to do. Right. So if I'm and I'm not being insensitive no, to, to whoever the you know offer the invitation. What right. I'm saying is if I'm talking to you, I'm like, hey, I was invited to go such and such. Mm -hmm. And I really can't go. And then I say, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm really choosing not to go because I want that moment. See what I mean? I corrected myself. Yes. Because I can't go means that there's no possible way for me to get there. With because I have this or I'm flying, I'm on a plane. But it's not that I can't. But go. It, there is a window. That's right. I'm I'm yeah. choosing, and so that's what I'm saying. I, I I'm selecting my words better, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because this is what I'm I'm allowing myself to now be okay with it. If I say yeah. I can't go, I'm not giving myself permission to say no in situations that I could have said yes. Mm -hmm. But when I say I choose not, I've now given my myself permission to say no and be okay with it. Yeah. Not to feel guilty about it. To be unapologetic with it. And I think it's, we get to a place that sometimes we're apologizing to ourselves about what we think someone else is feeling about what we just said. Wow. And it's only because yeah. we are not saying the right things to ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Like we just went to go see um a show, um Jay Shetty, and my favorite. Yeah, it's called Love Rules, and he talked about uh, words as well. Like, words matter. Yeah, and he told what was the it was uh, one example he gave. Oh, loneliness and solitude. Yeah, so being being alone means both of those. But instead of saying you're lonely, saying you're in solitude. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because the difference is if you talk to yourself about hating loneliness, then people stay in toxic relationships because they don't want to be lonely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People choose toxic relationships because they don't want to be lonely. Yeah. So the word choice matters. Yes. But solitude says I'm actually spending some time with me. Right. I'm spending some time becoming who I need. I'm spending some time learning how to love me. Mm -hmm. I'm spending so being in solitude is different than being lonely in loneliness. So it's just and, and that's just an example. It, there's a ton of words sure. that I've learned how to shift what I say to myself differently because it's self talk. Mm -hmm. But when we start to say better things to ourselves then automatically we start to say better things to other people too. Right. But you know what you always say, and I think about it all the time. You always say that we are never going to be perfect, but we strive for excellence. Right. That's exactly don't, right. Don't strive for perfection. You right. strive for excellence. Right. And when you do that, that's when you get there. Yeah. And I think people mess themselves up with that too. And oh, that's yeah. why I started that's saying why that. That's why that, those words yeah. really resonate with me when you say them. Yeah, because I think a lot of folks say things like, well, I know it's not perfect. Or I know that. I know I'm not the perfect person. Exactly. I know he's not the perfect one for me. I know I'm not the perfect daughter. Right. Well, you're not supposed there, to there be. Is no, right, there's no yeah. perfection, right? Because you're not God. You keep growing. Right, exactly. So the goal is, you know, how do I become better? Right, exactly. And that's the goal, right? Mm -hmm. so, so these words are so critical for all of us. Mm -hmm. And think about this. There are times in our relationship, in my relationship with my friends, mm -hmm. That I've said, man, I could have said that different. I could have chosen different words because words have power and it's hard. You can't pull it back. It's like siphoning poison out of poison out of a lake. Like you can't do it. Once you pour the poison in, it's in there. Right. So that's why words are so important, right? Because when your discussions with your conversation you're having with yourself, because we have thousands of them, right? 40,000, 50,000 conversations daily. Like, it's like, should I go? Should I go? Should I wake up early? Should I hit the snooze? Should I, right? It's all, all these conversations. So right. even though we don't look at them as conversations because they're subconscious, they happen all day long. Mm -hmm. And so when we start to choose better words we're saying to ourselves, oh my gosh, everything starts to change because now we feel better about ourselves because of what we chose to say to ourselves. But it's also important, babe, to that, yes, uh -huh. but also to be able to give yourself and other people grace when they don't choose their words mm. and to be able to be the person who says, I'm sorry. Or the person who says I shouldn't have done that or I shouldn't mm. have said that. Right. Yeah. That's a whole nother. Yeah. That's a whole nother episode. Because it's sometimes when you, as soon as you think something or as soon as you say something, you think, ah, shouldn't have said it that way. Yeah. But I, my ego is not going to allow me. So we just going to roll with this. Yeah. And it's hard. To, you have to get to a place where not only do you realize it, yeah. that you fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, you said it. I mean, it's lowering of the ego. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. So it's You have to like, humble yourself sometimes and say, you know exactly what? Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Instead of, well, this is why. <laughs> These are the 10 reasons. You can't right. be that person all the time. Right. Right. Well, you, and again, this podcast has helped us out. Yes. Right, because I found you saying things to me like, "Hey, babe, do you think you could have said that differently?" Mm -hmm. And I could be like, "Well, I mean, no. I mean, what I said was what I need to say, but it gives me an opportunity to think and say, yeah, I could have.' And because now I got to think about what I could have said differently and how I could and what word choice I could have used, which again allows us to grow. Because now, look, how do you? We just we just had the episode last week on intentionality, like growth, right? So how do you grow in your vocabulary to choose to say different words if you're not intentional about growing your vocabulary? Very true. Right? Very so true. again, and how do you grow your vocabulary? Reading, it listening to happen. audios, right? Being around people who use words. Now I'm saying you got to use words that every time you talk, somebody's got to go to a dictionary. <laughs> like our friend James Kelly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wait, what did he say? I know. He is a walking dictionary. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But it expands our it vocabulary. Does, I'm like, it does. Let me look that one up now. Right. Rather. So right. my point is, though, but, but to say better things to yourself, I'm not saying you got to have a PhD, but it's just nice to have... A word choice. Exactly. So, you know, I could I could say this word instead. But you start with what we just said. Yeah. Solitude, loneliness. It doesn't have to be these big words. Yeah. These huge definitions. Yeah. So we just we wanted to do this quick episode because we wanted to remind all of our audience Mm -hmm. that it is important to think about what we're saying to ourselves so that you'll recognize it more. Mm -hmm. Uh, It'll be apparent to you like. That's what they were talking about on that episode. I need to change saying that to myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I believe, again, like we didn't just like come up with this. We we took time thinking about the things you say to yourself about yourself will certainly at some point in your life, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually determine what you attract for yourself. And if you want to attract better things, say better things to yourself. That's what we're on the journey mm-hmm. to do. And we, uh, we're we glad that you're on this journey with us. Yes, absolutely. You're going to say something to close it out? Because you always, right before I close, you say that one more thing. No, no, that was a good close. You were like, the things you say to yourself. <laughs> that was good. How can I like, I don't want to interrupt that. Okay. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> I will say, when you're talking to me, choose your words very, very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Hey, listen, don't forget, <laughs> um, every week this is your assignment. Every week on a, on a serious note and joking note, but serious note, um, your calendar that you're going to have some personal development. We, mm-hmm. we do it daily, but you can do it weekly if you want. Start somewhere. And we would love for you to use the self-talk experience as a personal development tool for you. When we've been tra- we've been traveling like I think we're in our fourth city now. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh yes. Plus your birthday, I guess fifth city, and everywhere we go, you know, we now talk about, hey, look, you should check out our podcast. And the response we're getting from people, like the same day, hey, I just watched the podcast, like a server, the person um, that served you the coffee, mm-hmm. uh, and they're like, oh my That's gosh, right. oh my. So people are immediately watching it, and they're sharing that, wow, this is a life changer. The person at the mall at the the store where well, she ordered a shirt for me. Uh, sent me a text yes. message and she was like, oh my gosh, I needed this in my life. And so we just asked, and we're, we're so grateful and we're honored that we're able to um, directly and indirectly in some cases through, through referrals, um, you know, help people to say better things to themselves. So all I'm saying is don't be selfish with your growth. Share this with some other folks because you never know the day that someone says something different to themselves could change the rest of the days of their lives. Absolutely. So let's make sure we share it, right? All right, guys, take care. Say better things to yourself. Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk talk good to yourself.